A recent commission study conducted by Forrester Consulting on behalf of Canva found a key challenge brands are facing is creating and scaling content that's on brand. It makes sense as consumers have higher expectations of brands than ever before. Therefore, maintaining consistency is crucial to cut through the noise. Stick around to learn how Canva for Teams and Brand Hub can empower your business, increase your ROI, and supercharge employee efficiency. Kia ora, I'm Clay, the global go-to-market program lead here at Canva. If you're a creative or marketing professional, you probably already know that maintaining brand consistency is crucial if you want to cut through in this market. Consumers are hit with so many messages. If you want to be differentiated from your competitors and recalled at the time of purchase, you need to be recognised. And that's only going to happen if you've built up brand equity and remain consistent in your messaging. But it's hard. It's really tough, especially when you're growing. On the one hand, the more people involved in managing the brand means you can scale faster, but the chances for brand fragmentation also increase exponentially. Well, it used to. A brand kit is the perfect way to collect your design assets in one place, so it's accessible to the entire team. And most importantly, you can guarantee everyone is working from the same version. In this video, I'm going to show you how Canva's brand kit has evolved into a full brand hub, ensuring everyone designs on brand, effectively turning every employee into a creator, making your brand approved content more efficient, productive, and most importantly, scalable. Sounds good, right? Okay, let's revisit how you can set up a brand kit. It only takes a second. On the Canva homepage, navigate to the Brand Hub tab on the left-hand panel. Everyone in your team can access brand kits. However, only administrators and brand designers can make changes to them. Click the Add New button in the top right corner to create a brand kit. Give your brand kit a name. You may create multiple kits for sub-brands or specific campaigns, such as season theme kits or kits for a new product or service. Upload your brand logos here. If you have multiple lockups, upload them all. SVG files are the best. That means you can adjust the colors of your logo within Canva to create different color variations. Select brand colors using hex codes or CMYK, or both, and categorize them as primary and secondary colors. Choose or upload your own brand fonts for each heading and subheading style and designate primary and secondary fonts. And that's the basics covered. You'll also notice that there's a space here for photos, graphics, or specific icon sets your brand uses heavily. This is really handy if there's a specific style consistency you need across all your visual content. As you can see here, you can create branded templates to simplify the design process for your most crucial content types, making it easy for any team member to use. With all that locked and loaded, let's have a look at how someone from your team might approach creating a design. From the homepage, they'll choose the type of document they need. At the top of the results, they'll be offered the existing brand templates first. Selecting one of these templates will open a new copy of the design ready for them to customize it. They can adjust text and head to the Brand Hub to find the approved photos and graphics. If the color scheme isn't working, they can choose to shuffle, building a new palette based on the approved colors. A feature I really love is here, contextual and timely brand guidelines. It's your chance to really explain how and why a specific element needs to be used. No more searching through a 20 page PDF. The instructions are right here in Canva, when and where they need them. Once completed, they can head to the share menu in order to download, share with their colleagues, or if they have the right approval, publish live to social. It's easy and incredibly efficient for them. 
and you can relax knowing they've used the correct version of your logo, pre-approved imagery, and the right color hex codes. Having the tools at their disposal encourages your team to become more autonomous and efficient, reducing their dependency on creative teams and agencies. In fact, a Forrester Consulting study found that an organization can save more than $1.7 million over three years by making every employee a designer. I mentioned the study earlier, and if you want to find out more about it, just scan this QR code. There are some really, really amazing insights in there. Okay, let's take a look at how you can add controls to your brand hub. As a team admin, you have access to this additional tab where you can lock down what is available to your team members. This way, you can ensure no one deviates from the approved brand fonts or colors, and you can even set up design approvals. This provides a sign-off opportunity where you can designate specific people as approvers, giving them a chance to say a final, looks good to me, before it's shared with the world. Okay, while we're here, I'll also quickly show you how to create a folder so you can cut that time you spend chasing resources and assets. Go here and create a new one. Name it, and then invite team members. This is where you can set permissions, and if you check here, you can notify them that the folder has been created. It's easy, isn't it? That way you can keep all campaigns together in the one place. Talking about permissions, in your team settings, under people, there are a number of team roles worth exploring. Admin, brand designer, and member. Members are the most common and the one you'll assign the most. They have full access to Canva and can use your brand kit and create designs from the templates that have been lovingly crafted by the brand designer. This role can publish templates, schedule media posts, and work on the brand kit. Admin, as you might expect, have full access to your brand hub, they manage your team controls and settings, and can add and remove members. There is so much more to brand hub, workflows, image replace, but I know I've covered a bunch already. Really, the best way to learn is to jump in and just start using it. At Canva, we're using our own brand hub every day. That's how we produce so much consistent, on-brand and relevant content across the world. Actually, speaking of relevant, that's one thing I should have shown you before. This is so cool. Magic Translate. Whenever you're in a design, you can go here and open the Translate app. Choose from over 100 languages. Hit the button and watch as it magically translates your page instantly. Isn't that cool? It really means you can speak to your entire audience, wherever they are, in their language, making your content that much more relevant. Sorry, I just had to show you that. Look, if you want to keep learning about all the things you and your team can do in Canva, check out this playlist. Tips from the team, where we upload new tutorials every week about all sorts of things. Most videos are under 10 minutes, so in ROI terms, it's really the best way to ensure you're keeping abreast of the latest tools that Canva has to offer. Taught to you by people who are actually working and building the product, right here at Canva. Hit that subscribe button so you're made aware of every new published video. Okay, that's Brand Hub. It truly is the perfect home for your brand. Putting the power to communicate visually with confidence in your whole team's hands. Any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Oh, hello, nice to see you. Looking for more design inspiration? Explore our curated playlists featuring an array of tutorials led by design experts tailored to elevate your creative journey. Here's one of our recent top picks that might go well with what you've just watched. 
Until next time, goodbye. No, really, 